Today, ladies and gentlemen, we got the face cam on and we've got some battles. We've got Pacific Rim over here. We got Atachi and we've got Cherno Alpha. I know they kind of look different, but listen, these are the models that we have today. Versus that man behind me and an odd team up. We've got Evolved Godzilla, which, uh, you know, kind of looks weird, but that's the model we have. Evolved Godzilla versus Scar King. And I, like I said, it's a weird team up with Evolved Godzilla and Scar King being on the same team. But who do you think would win in our first battle right here? And then in our second battle, we've got my boy Gypsy Danger teaming up with somebody you really didn't think he would team up with. We've got my boy Knifehead here. And behind, they are going to be having to fight, well, as you can see, we got Shimu. And this is a, you know, a better team up because at the end of the movie, no spoilers, but like, you know, th these kind of teamed up a little bit. Okay, maybe that was a little bit of a, well, whatever. We got Shimu and we've got Kong with the Beast Glove against the Pacific Rim characters of Gypsy Danger and Knifehead. Who do you think would win in this battle? Before we get to those battles, though, we're going to go ahead and see how they would do against, you know, a little 1v1 action. We've got Gypsy Danger right here against Evolved Godzilla. Now, the only problem with this Evolved Godzilla is if you saw him from the last time he was in here, he was an absolute savage. But to be honest with you, I don't think, you know, Gypsy Danger or anybody from Pacific Rim really would have a chance against Evolved Godzilla anyways. So let's just see what happens. Evolved Go 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 Godzilla. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much how I would think that would go regardless. You know what, hold up, maybe something happened there that I didn't see. Maybe if we started again, my boy Gypsy Danger has a little bit better of a, of a attempt. Let's go ahead and see. We're gonna start the battle immediately. I mean, okay, hold up. Let me try one more time here. I'm gonna pause it as soon as things start. So we see, okay, I mean, I tried to pause it, but as you can see, Gypsy Danger barely gets a rocket out. And, and for one, look at the size of this rocket. Like, did you really think that was going to do anything to this massive creature right here? And then immediately, Evolved Godzilla hits the atomic breath to what? The hip? My boy hit him in the hip and it did, well, this right here. He, all they did was hit him in the hip muscle. I don't even know if there is a hip muscle, but look at my boy right now. I don't know who was in Gypsy Danger but it's just a noggin now. And Evolved Godzilla, he's about to just run off the map. Okay, so here, what if we do this? Let's go ahead and clear this Godzilla and put in the Evolved Godzilla that we saw from earlier. Okay, so this is definitely the weaker version of Evolved Godzilla, and it's actually the one we're gonna be using for the rest of the fights, but I still don't think Gypsy Danger has what it takes to even come close to beating him, to be honest. I mean, my boy is just too powerful, but let's just go ahead and put him to the test. Evolved Godzilla versus Gypsy. Hey, yo, Gypsy Danger, you gotta start start doing something. Oh, they done broke out the skeleton on him. Okay, so clearly that battle isn't gonna be a battle. Um, what about this one right here? Shimu versus the almighty um knife head. Now, to be honest with you, this is probably, you know, sort of similar in size. Shimu being an absolute savage. And yes, I know knife head is big too, but I'm pretty sure Shimu's bigger, right? I could be wrong though. Let me know in the comments. But what about the power levels on both of them? Is Shimu stronger? Personally, I would say yes, but let's just go ahead and see. I'm going to turn on health bars too, so we can see how much damage they're doing. I will say Knife Head is lasting longer than Gypsy Danger did, but I feel like it's going to end up pretty much the same way. Bro, the Godzilla universe might just be a little too overpowered for the Pacific Rimverse. I mean, look, my boy just got obliterated. He's got all his scales laying on the ground and whatnot. Meanwhile, we got Shimu just kind of walking over the body. The dis... Is she moonwalking on his body? Oh, that's disrespectful. And look at the tail just laying on him, dude. Okay, well, not you are not hitting a dead body. Okay, um, what we're seeing here is Shimu doesn't really think that uh, Knifehead is a challenge. But Knifehead did last longer than the last guy, and we, we gave him a few tries, so let's just do it. We got Knifehead versus Shimu once again. This one might be a little faster, to be honest. Shimu got a really good blast off to start, but at least Knifehead, you know, is doing something. He's trying to stab, stab her in the back with the, the knife head. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. This time, by the way, I mean, I think that one ended up being faster than the first battle. So definitely Shimu would obliterate knife head. And like I said, I really do think this is how it would go in the actual like movie if we had this too. But now we have Gypsy Danger versus Scar King. Now this right here would be a battle that I would think Gypsy Danger could maybe hold his own for. Maybe not in the real movie. Like I would still, I would, I would still think Scar King wins this battle. To be honest with you, but in this game, you know, Animal Revolt Battle Simulator, do you think Gypsy Danger could hold his own against Scar King and his whip? I don't really. Oh, well, let me go ahead and show you. By the way, my boy Gypsy Danger does have some really cool weapons. He's got this like giant blaster gun over here with like spikes and whatnot. 
and the sword don't even get me started i think this sword looks even better than the one he uses like in the actual movie i mean this bad boy has spikes on top of spikes and then you know scar king he's basically he just has his whip let's see what happens not in the movie but you know in arms okay it does look like this is going to be the best battle of the day so far because as you can see Gypsy Danger is doing some damage to my boy Scar King. Now, is it a lot of damage? No, I mean, he has taken like maybe 5% or like 4% of his health away. And Scar King, he's done actually 0% damage. So currently, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna come to whoever knocks who off the map, to be honest. I would say for Scar King to win this battle, he would definitely have to knock him off the map because like I said, he's doing zero damage. And for whatever reason, He's not even using the whip that's in his hand. Uh-oh! I thought he was getting him down on the ground for a second. But yeah, like I was saying, he's not using his whip at all. He just has it attached to his hand, and he's just walking straight at Gypsy Danger. Yeah, buddy, I don't think that's going to work out. Oh, hold up. It, it attached to him a little bit, and it moved him, but like, nah, Scar King doesn't have what it takes here. Now you see why Scar King needed Shimu under control and all that. Let me, let me go ahead and pause the battle and see what my boy's doing in the first place. As you can see with Gypsy Danger, I mean, he is using his weapon. You can see the gun. It was being shot earlier. He's got the, the sword doing some stuff, maybe trying to, you know, disconnect his uh, whip. But overall, I mean, he's got rockets coming out of somewhere up here. Look right here. The, these are where the rockets are coming out of. And Scar King, he's just got some glowing eyes, brother. What are you doing? Not enough, I'll tell you that. Go ahead and start the fight back up. And yeah, bro, he's literally done zero damage still after all that I've been saying to my boy Gypsy Danger. He might get... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Scar King threw him off of the map. What did I say earlier? The only way Scar King would win is if he would throw him off the map. And that's exactly what he did. So even though Scar King did literally like no damage and he he's gonna take a nap, why did he just do the MJ? What in the world was that? All right, like I was saying, even though Scar King did like virtually zero damage, he did end up winning the fight. So shout out to my boy. Do we give Gypsy Danger another chance though? I mean, I guess we can give him one more chance. You know what I'm saying? We got to be a little fair here. So let's see, Gypsy Danger versus Scar King one more time. Can he push Scar King off the map? At least now he knows what he has to do. Hold up. They are getting very close to the edge of the map again. If Scar King pushes him off the map, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. The Godzilla universe is a lot better than Pacific Rim. I'm gonna say that anyways, but let me know what you think in the comments. Like, if this was an actual battle in an actual movie, who do you think would win? Would you pick the Godzilla multiverse, universe, whatever you want to call it, or would you pick the Pacific Rimverse? I would go Monsterverse for sure. Uh-oh, Gypsy looks like he's actually starting to think a little bit, and he's got Scar King on the edge of the map. So right now, it is one-to-one. -one. Gypsy Danger did find out that he could push off the map too. So we gotta run it back one more time. Whoever wins this battle, is gonna be the champion of this battle. I mean, to be honest with you, it's 2-0 Monsterverse right now. I mean, it's pretty much 2-0 right now. You know, Evolve Godzilla dominated in the beginning and then Shimu followed suit and dominated in her fight. So whoever wins this is gonna get a point for their team. Is it gonna be 3-0 Monsterverse or 2-1? You know, each of them at least having a point. It could go either way right now. Both of them, you know, they're just kind of in the middle of the map. Nobody's really taking control and going towards the edge yet. That's clearly what they need to do. So, uh oh, hold up. Gypsy is kind of pushing him back. And then Scar King reversed. And he started to push him back a little bit. But Scar King, where are you going, dude? Okay, Scar King just messed up. I don't know what he was thinking. But now he is on the verge of taking this L. Is Gypsy Danger going to get a point for his team? Or is he going to reverse it? What is he doing, man? Knock him off the map. All you have to do is run at him and hit him, dude. That's, uh oh, hold up. He's on the edge, bro, Gypsy. You just have to hit him one time, man. Get your team a point. You're gonna probably be the only one that can do it. Oh no, is he gonna reverse? Oh, he's not gonna reverse. He's got Scar King on the ropes. Bro, I've said it a million times. All he has to do is just push, dude. You're on the edge of the map right now. Oh, here we go. Somebody's losing right now. What are they doing? I mean, they have both been hovering on the side of the map for so long now. I'm so surprised nobody's falling off. This is actually a really good battle, though. I know Scar King's not doing any damage to Gypsy, but they keep getting so close to the edge that literally anyone can win this fight. Here we go. Scar King's going off. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. We saw Scar King take a seat first. So Gypsy Danger does get that point, even though he ended up jumping off too. So it all comes down to this fight right here. We've got Cherno Alpha versus Kong. 
with the Beast Glove, of course. Who do you think would win here? If Cherno does win, then it's going to be two to two with it being tied up. But if my boy Kong with his Beast Glove wins, that means that they're going to win, but they're all going to battle in the end anyways. So let's go ahead and see. Kong versus Cherno Alpha. To be honest with you, I think Cherno's going to dominate this fight. Oh my, oh, yo, just like I thought, Cherno absolutely destroyed Kong. And look at him hitting this moonwalk with his hands behind his back. Nah, Cherno Alpha's actually disrespectful. Like we did for the other ones, though, we got to give Kong one more chance here. Maybe it was a fluke, and we're going to have Cherno Alpha losing this time. Uh-oh, uh oh Bro, if Kong would have just hit him off the map right there, that would have been so perfect. But it looks like Cherno Alpha's taking the victory again. And he's going to go ahead and sacrifice himself, too. All right, well, it is now tied up two to two with the Pacific Rim versus Godzilla. So in the final battles of the day, who do you guys think is going to win? Also, I just noticed that we never even used Otachi. Wait a minute. Did we use Gypsy Danger twice? We did. Okay, so we had we actually had Gypsy Danger fighting Evolve Godzilla, and we had Gypsy Danger fighting Scar King. Okay, I thought I was missing a character somewhere. So now we'll do it a little bit different. We're going to keep the same score. It was two to two overall. But now this time I'm going to go ahead and clear Gypsy Danger out of here and put Otachi against Scar King. Who do you think would win in that battle? Hey, Otachi, man, that was my bad, brother. You know, I wanted to see you fight anyways, okay? So now the battle between Otachi and Scar King, who do you guys think is going to win? Now you got to think about how Scar King fights. He doesn't really use this whip like at all. I feel like if he was using the whip as like, you know, an actual ranged weapon, this probably wouldn't even be a fight, but since he's not doing it, I think Ota Otachi's gonna win this battle. He's already done a little bit of damage to Scar King, and you know what we haven't seen other than Evolve Godzilla? We haven't seen anybody get destroyed other than, you know, everybody getting knocked off the map. So this is gonna be the first time that Pacific Rim actually is able to beat anyone from the MonsterVerse without knocking them off the map. So congratulations to Otachi. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Otachi and Pacific Rim wins this battle right here. Okay, big fa Hey, yo, big fella, don't hit me with that tail. But, I mean, you do know what we have to do. We, we, we give everybody a second chance here on this channel. So, let's see. Otachi could lose. He could... Okay. Scar King is trying to push him off the map now. I, I would assume now that he knows he can't beat him in a hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's going to have to throw my boy or something like that. Because, clearly, I mean, he is punching him a little bit. But, as you can see, look at the health bars. He's doing, like, no damage. And Otachi, he is doing a good amount of damage. A lot less than last time, though, I will say. But we're just going to watch the fight and see how it unfolds. Scar King has, like, this big of a chance. You know, it is a chance, but it's a tiny chance at the same time. He's got about almost half of his HP absolutely drained from him. Meanwhile, Otachi isn't using his tail either. Like, as you can see, let me pause for a minute. Look at this man's tail. He's got spikes on the end of it, like a Stegosaurus or something. And he's got all of these spikes going on as well. So really, he, he has another weapon that he's not even using. So both of these guys are just kind of goofy, but hey, we already know who's gonna win. Otachi's taking this home. Unless Scar King does what he was, oh, I thought he was gonna push him off, dude. That was gonna be Scar King's only, only chance. Wait a minute. Everybody wait. Otachi's trying to hold on for his life. Is he gonna get it? If he lets go, there we go. Scar King, it is one to one right now. Hey, I told you, Scar King is kind of smart in this game sometimes. So here we go, the last battle before we have both teams battling. We've got Otachi versus Scar King one more time. And whoever wins, we're not even, we're not really gonna count it as a point. Actually, yes, we will. Whoever wins this, it's gonna be either three to two or two to three for the other, you know, you know what I'm saying, bro. Whoever wins gets the point advantage. And then the main points, are gonna come from the team battles, which is gonna be pretty big. Monsterverse versus Pacific Rim. Let me know who you guys think's gonna win. And then if it was an actual movie, let me know who you would think would win in that as well. Personally, being a Monsterverse fan and, you know, seeing the Pacific Rim movies as well, I'm gonna go Monsterverse just because, you know, Evolve Godzilla, everything, Shimu, like, come on. I don't think Pacific Rim stands a chance. But Scar King, with the way the Scar King's playing up, okay, never mind, he is on his back. All right, he's back up. With the way Scar King's playing, he could give his team a little bit of a lead, or Otachi could give his team a lead. Hold up. Yeah, if he doesn't push him off the map, Otachi's definitely giving Pacific Rim the lead. Oh, it's bro, it's actually so close. They're both on the edge of the map. And we saw this earlier with Scar King and I think it was Cherno. No, no, it was Gypsy Danger. Look at that. 
Scar King somehow wins this battle. Are you kidding me? How in the world did we even let that happen? All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the team battles, the last ones of the day. For the first one, you kind of saw a preview of this earlier. It is going to be Cherno Alpha and Otachi, now that we've actually seen them, versus this evolution of Evolved Godzilla, or this form of Evolved Godzilla, and the guy that just won a couple. We got Scar King here. Now, do I think that Pacific Rim has a chance? Only, I'm going to say absolutely not, only because of Godzilla. I just think his atomic breath is going to be too much for him. But let's figure, figure it out. Okay, well, um... Cherno Alpha got absolutely obliterated, but Otachi, the Kaiju of Pacific Rim, is actually doing a little bit more damage than I thought he was going to do. Okay, well, one more Atomic Breath, and it's going to be wraps for my boy. There it is. The Monsterverse has won their first battle. We're going to change it up a little bit, too, because I kind of want to see how it would look with Kong and Scar King. By the way, Kong, why are you holding the whip with Scar King? Okay, whatever. We got Scar King, and we've got Kong versus Otachi and Cherno Alpha. I feel like this is gonna be definitely a better version of this fight rather than what we just saw. But I still think the Monsterverse is gonna win, to be honest with you. And let, oh my, yo, Cherno Alpha is so disrespectful and kind of goofy at the same time. All right, well, let's see if Otachi can pull it out or get knocked off the map by my boy Scar King, which he already has been knocked off twice. But yeah, I feel like this version of the battle is better. Just so, you know, Evolved Godzilla can't carry and destroy everybody. And honestly, like I said, in the movie, I think that's how it would work anyways. I think Evolved Godzilla would just absolutely obliterate with his atomic breath, atomic pulse, everything he would use against the Kaijus and the actual Jaegers of Pacific Rim. I think the Monsterverse would absolutely dominate. But in this fight right here, Otachi is actually going to be the one that wins unless something miraculous just, you know, happens out of nowhere. But right now, though, it does look like Otachi with one more hit is going to take down Mr. Scar King. So should we give that point to Pacific? Did he just throw him off the map? Yo, Otachi, that is so disrespectful, bro. All right, well, I don't really know who to give that point to, to be honest, because like I said, with Evolve Godzilla, Pacific Rim definitely loses that battle. But without, maybe they win. That brings us to the last battle of the day. By the way, I couldn't do four versus four because it kept lagging and it, it was really bad. But for the last 2v2, we've got Gypsy Danger and Knifehead versus Shimu and my boy Kong with the Beast Glove. Now, to be honest with you, I think this is going to be a quick battle like we saw earlier with Evolve Godzilla. Shimu's basically like the same beast in this game. But, wait a minute. Gypsy Danger almost knocked Kong off the map. I feel like Kong doesn't belong in this fight. Like, look at my boy. He, he's just getting obliterated. But Shimu cleans up the battle, bro. It's almost not even fair. No, nah, actually, you know, you know what wouldn't be fair? Let me go ahead and make this fight super unfair. Because this is how it would be in the movie, I'm telling you right now. And we're not even going to use the super strong version of Evolved Godzilla. We're just going to use this version right here. Not to say it's weak, but like, you know what I'm saying. So this is definitely how it would go in the movie. You've got Evolved Godzilla teaming up with Shimu. And then you've got these guys trying to save the Pacific Rim universe. Let's see what would happen. You've got two, well, one atomic breath and then one ice beam. Already Gypsy Danger is dead. And there goes Knifehead. Like, what would you even do here? Wait a minute. What if we switch something up and did both of the Jaegers versus the Kaijus of the Monsterverse? I still think that this is probably going to be worse, to be honest with you. But let's go ahead and start it. Shimu and Evolve G versus All right, That was the fastest fight of the entire day. Well, I guess you guys let me know what you think would happen in the actual movie. Meanwhile, in the game, Evolve Godzilla, Shimu, the rest of the Monsterverse, they're just too good with it.